The map displays the location of Myanmar, which is also sometimes known as Burma. Located in Southeast Asia, it can be found south of China, west of Thailand, and east of India and Bangladesh. It is slightly smaller in land size than Texas. Most of the country lies between the Tropic of Cancer and the equator within the monsoon regions of Asia. Life in Myanmar is very different. A pagoda is a Buddhist shrine. The Shwedagon Pagoda, shown on this page, is the most important pagoda in Myanmar. It was first constructed about 2,500 years ago and, after many renovations, stands 322 feet high. It supposedly holds artifacts from four different Buddhas. Buddha means enlightened one. There are over 30 different Buddhas. Let's take a look at some more photos that show life in Myanmar, a very diverse and exotic culture with over 135 different ethnic groups. At the Shwedagon and other pagodas, many different rituals are carried out. One of the rituals shown in this photo is a ceremonial cleansing of Buddha in which water is poured over the figure. Besides influences from Buddhism, about 4% of the population is Muslim. Islamic mosques like this one can be found throughout Myanmar. Outside the major cities, most people live modestly. This simple home is constructed out of bamboo, woven reed walls, and the roof is made out of straw. Certainly much different accommodations than we think of as country living. Here's a photo of farmers working on their rice crop. Rice is the main grain produced in Myanmar. Water buffaloes are still used to do the majority of the farming. Here a pair of water buffaloes tread out the rice. Here's a sampling of Burmese cuisine. Most food is fried, boiled, or made into a curry. Rice is the staple of any Burmese diet. Meat, typically chicken, pork, or fish, is not a regular part of the meal but is reserved for special occasions. Now that we've talked a little bit about the country and culture, let's talk about the work in spreading the gospel. Uh, I am the Kumpi, the founder of MBI. Now I'm working at the Railroad Mission. Uh, the Railroad Mission is through Mandalay to Michina. Uh, I'm the, in charge of that uh, mission. And then we start. It is working to train future evangelists Christian and Christ clinic. followers to reach out and, to the people of Myanmar. Uh, in charge of that clinic too. Many of the future church leaders in Myanmar are able to be trained here before going back to their homes or where God is calling them to serve the people of Myanmar. Here is a photo showing teaching classes. The students study hard and work diligently to make the most of their learning opportunities. Hope Bible Seminary offers the opportunity for further education for the future leaders of the church in Myanmar. The school year begins in June and lasts until February. The hot and rainy season lasts from March until May in Myanmar. Evangelism is a significant part of the ministry in Myanmar. These photos show preaching, teaching, and baptizing on evangelistic trips made throughout the year. Music is a large part of the The singing is heard in the streets and often attracts people walking by. The Bushankaran, 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 the Bush
মথাই খা মি লোক ওয়ালং নাই ফিলে ফিলে গা পিঠুটি সেটা মনে God has recently opened the door to the Rakhine State for ministry. It is difficult to reach the area. Roads are poor and most villages can only be reached by foot. Christmas celebration. The service was held outside of the church building to accommodate the increase in attendance. Many non-believers attend church on Christmas out of curiosity. Church leaders use these opportunities for evangelism.
Hey, what's up? What's up? Hey, 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 what's up?